Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Coast Nerd Update. We've got some breaking news out of Gurney, Illinois, where we've received some more clues for this mysterious 2025 roller coaster uh, at Six Flags Great America. Uh, now, Jeff, over the last few days, we've been seeing some new signs be put up in the park. Um, so keep in mind that there's stuff that they're doing online on their social media, but there's a separate campaign that they're actually doing inside the park. So if you're there, uh, you'll see some banners uh, be put up. Uh, just recently, they put up a walk the plank banner over the old uh, Buccaneer battle section uh, over right across from Demon. So we're still in the same general area here. Um, and we've seen some interesting things on uh, a trademark and copyright websites as well. What do we see there? So it's uh, this term uh, where this uh, character, Rakshasha, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> um, but it has uh, Hindi uh, origins. Um, and apparently it's also used in Dungeons and Dragons, which uh, I'm not sure if it like ties into the movie or anything like that. But um, but uh, it seems to be kind of like a, an evil character, which I feel like you know, villains and evil characters are always a good place to go for rides. Right. I kind of better than heroes. <laughs> and, and we've seen this. So Wrath of Raksasha has been trademarked by Six Flags. Um, we've also seen this be used inside of um, inside of their teaser campaign here with these eyes. Um, what's also interesting is people have said that on the banners inside, um, inside the park, within the eyes, there's extra logos. And it almost looks like um, Hindu writing or something of that sort, uh, some sort of like symbology there. Um, like, like I too am not an expert on this. Um, but if you look at like the character itself and you look at like what a rock Sasha is, it's some, some, almost like a demonic character in Dungeons and Dragons. It's kind of like a tiger like character. Um, and, and there's different depictions of you. There's Islam origins, there's Buddhist origins. There's uh, so this is, this is like kind of like a blanket term. I think for yeah. a lot of different, it's got like an anthropomorphized face. Like it's got like fangs, and yeah, you're right. Like exactly. So like, yeah. Yeah. like you can go on or Google like Images. Yeah. Google Images has like a there's there's hundreds of pictures, and you know there's the Dungeons and Dragons version. There's the old religious uh, versions of it as well. Uh, but for the most part, it is sort of an evil character um, that that may be a tiger that. Kind of lends itself to what we've been seeing. At first, I thought it looked like a snake, um, but if you said to me this could be tiger's eyes and and they're going to do some sort of tiger like uh, theme here as well, um, I could totally see that happening here. Um, so I think we've got the theme down here because they because basically the trademark gave it away, and some of the letters are kind of like adding up that they've been capitalizing to maybe fitting into Rock Sasha. Um, so yeah, I think there's too many S's still, but like, yeah, that I, I don't think there's any like extra letters uh, or, or, uh, yeah. Or what that they're, and, and who uh, knows, talking. maybe they're spelling out Raksasha. Maybe there's adding in another thing like the manufacturer's name. I don't know. Um, so, and we've also kind of like nailed down like where this is going to be in the park. Now the question is, is how big is this going to be? Now we've spent the last 20 minutes here uh, before in the pre-show um, looking at maps and analyzing sizes. Um, and if you look at the area right around Demon and you look at the Buccaneer Battle area, um, that's that I think is going to be the crux of where this coaster is going to be. Um, it's also where we see this new Walk the Plank sign go up in the park. Um, Buccaneer Battle used to be a splash battle. Hasn't worked in a number of years, maybe even before COVID, I don't think. Um, I've only been on it a few times um, and this is kind of like a midway, kind of a forgotten midway that it's like a cut through to get from, um, you know, hometown square into the area over by X flight into the county fair section of the park. If you don't want to go through Southwest Territory, um, it's funny. You said you don't even remember this section, right? When you went there. No, I feel like uh, I somehow like just avoided it entirely because um, I don't even remember walking past Demon Station. Um, so I, I guess I must have walked around the bottom of it. I don't know. Yeah, because like because if you go through Southwest Territory, you go through Southwest Territory, you go by, you know, Raging Bull or whatever, and then you exit out by Justice League and then you X flights right there. So 
like if you're not going to write demon, there's really almost no reason to go to this section. The the the, the splash battles closed. Um, they used to have a ropes course there that's been closed down for years as well. So it's kind of like this like forgotten area, and and maybe maybe they just want to cut that off completely. That if people aren't, I, I've always used it to exit the park. Um, if I'm on that side of the park, because I don't want to go all the way through Southwest Territory, um, I use it as a cut through. Um, but I could totally see them if they don't want to have a coaster go over the midway, which lends itself to its own set of problems. You have to cover it. You have to have, you know, coasters go over the midway all the time. So it's not impossible. Um, Demon, for instance, goes over the midway now that I'm thinking about it. Or does it go over? It, it does go over the midway at some point. Um, but uh, but if you don't want to deal with all of that, you could just cut off that midway if nobody's really um, using it or if, or if people... Or if you don't want people to use it, you could just cut off the midway and now have this huge chunk of land with the Buccaneer battle, with the old ropes course. I don't know if you go even further up a little bit uh, higher into the area and talk about getting rid of some. There's some kiddie rides there. And then if you really want to open up this ride, if you go past the service center um, and then you go into the go-karts and you get rid of the go-kart track which I've always been a fan of, even though they make money and stuff, I get it. Um, if you want to do something even bigger, now you're looking into the go-kart track. And I know you're already looking at me because you're saying, if you want to do something bigger, just get rid of demon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you got rid of demon, you would have a huge, you can do anything in this section. Um, right. But let's start with assuming we're not going to go-karts and assuming we're not getting rid of demon. What can we do here? Right. So if Demon is safe and the go-karts are safe and like we're basically cutting up this midway like you were suggesting, maybe if you enter the midway from the north, it would kind of like dead end into a plaza and you can go to Demon. And then if you enter the midway from the south, it would dead end and go towards this new ride. Now, the plot that we have to work with is a pretty decent chunk. Uh, so depending on like how you measure it, like it, it's not like a perfect square, obviously. But it's about 170 to 190 east-west, and it's about uh, 230, 240 north-south. That's like not chopping any trees down, not like going like beyond the boundaries or into like that service road area or, um, you know, like just encroaching on anything else, like staying within the lines. And if uh, if you did that, that, that's plenty of room for a pretty large ride but it would have to be a pretty compact roller coaster if, if that's what we're looking at. And it, it's a pretty big teaser campaign. So I feel like we are talking about roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, and and we, we mentioned on the first show, the idea of an axis coaster, which yeah, I'm sticking which, with that till I'm wrong. Every new coaster that's announced is going to be that until I'm yeah, wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so until someone builds one, we're going to go axis coaster on everything. And yeah. if you look at like kind of like the dimensions of what SNS was kind of selling for that, that would fit perfectly in this. Um, an RMC single rail to the tune of uh, Wonder Woman or Railblazer uh, yeah. would fit into this area. You could do a custom and layout, doesn't have to be a clone. Um, an interesting and, thing about that actually is um, the, the Raptor. The like the the Wonder Woman and Railblazer Raptor fits yeah. in that plot perfectly if it goes east west and touches the service road. And if you look at RMC's website, there are three Raptor projects um, in the works, and uh, two of them are labeled as custom uh, Raptor projects, and one of them is not. And the one that is not is labeled uh, for uh, for the U.S. So oh. uh, yes. So the two custom ones are they they call international, uh, or well, okay. sorry, the custom Raptor is international, the regular Raptor is international, and then there is a U.S. based Raptor that is coming soon. So they are building mm -hmm. one somewhere, and this might be the well, place. And, and we did talk about Lost Island maybe too. So so that that's yeah, in the mix there. Could be there too. Yeah, you know so. Um, that's always, you know, one of those just things. More fuel, just more fuel for the axis. Right. right. <laughs> um, now, everyone keeps talking about, too, if you go online, everyone's talking about, you know, Dr. Diabolical Cliffhanger um, and, and putting a dive coaster here. Even if you were to clone Diabolical and put it in this area, you would have to open up more space. It would not fit um, by itself inside the Buccaneer battle. You would almost have to open up. 
uh, the go kart track. Um, it just, it just, there's just, it, you think it's oh, it's a small compact dive coaster. Yes, but the dive coasters are still massive amounts of space that they take up. Yeah, and the um, taller the bar, the wider the supports get away from the track too. Exactly, and and you could easily do it if you close Demon too. It, it like Diabolical would almost fit perfectly in this space if you close Demon and got rid of Demon. So, and I, I don't know how people are going to feel about that. I like Demon. I think it's cool. It's one of the first rides I went on that went upside down. So I have like it, it has like a special like thing to me, but it's not a ride that I'm riding every single time I go to the park. Um, I think it's a cool ride. I think arrow corkscrews if maintained well are fun rides um but you know it, it is it is getting up there in age too <laughs> these that what, what opened in 76 something like that is at the originally called the turn of the century um so it, it it's getting up there in age and it probably won't last forever and if you were going to remove demon and put in diabolical a straight up clone diabolical would probably fit in that location only if you got rid of demon though right right and if they were doing that i don't think they'd do a hundred percent clone i think they would probably try to make it a little bit steeper and claim a record well and and you know some people are out there saying oh it's going to be a record-breaking coaster and and it's as we know from history records yeah. are very fluid can be very nonsensical it could be the tallest you know steepest it could be the fastest dive coaster in the tri-state area, whatever you call it, you know, like you, you can, you can start adding a lot of qualifiers yeah. to make anything a record nowadays. Um, yeah, everything is a record breaker. Yeah. I, I don't think you're going to steal a height record. I don't think you're going to steal. We even looked at the inversion record. You'd have to get like five off of a dive coaster, which seems to be a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, if it had the smaller carts with, that kind of move a little bit better. I think that would be good for a five, but like now, it might be a lot. Yeah. Now the question is, if you get rid of demon, do you put a corkscrew on it, you know, and, and try to like replicate what demon did a little bit and kind of do some stuff and, and do an elongated corkscrew that a dive goes to could go through might be a cool little thing. I don't know. Um, I, man, I, I have a hard time sitting here saying that demons going away, but I think if you're talking dive coaster, the only way you can talk dive coaster is if you get rid of demon. You might be able to, even even or if you got go rid of the go karts, like, like even if you got rid of the go karts, it might not be wide enough. Yeah, it might yeah, I, I still don't think you have enough space here. Like you would have to get rid of the go karts and move the lobster flat ride and move some of those kitty rides. You'd you'd have to do a lot of stuff um, to jam. And, and granted, you could do a custom layout. Um, but, but those B and M's take up a lot of space. They just do like, there's no, there's no two ways around that. And that's why a lot of the parks are putting in the family inverted coasters because they cut down a, on a little bit of that footprint. Um, you don't see a, a huge footprint with the big four cross trains or with the dive coasters with the seven or eight or whatever number of cross trains you choose. Um, mm -hmm. so I think at the end of the day, I personally think, Axis coaster, single rail coaster, and a dive coaster. I think you're you're talking a lot a lot bigger changes happening to the park um, if you're going to go dive coaster. Yeah, I think I think if the if we're at the we're correct on the plot and it's Buccaneer Battle that those two com very compact models make the most sense and they they kind of fit with the DNA of the park where things need to be com compressed. They need to be a little bit on the shorter side. Um, you know, that we're not going for something like, uh, you know, that that's going to be a very tall dive coaster, like just wouldn't really fit there. And even like Diabolical, how tall was that? I forgot the height on it. Um, I think it's like is it over 200. I don't think so. I think I think it's uh, it's it is one of those shorter ones. The shorter ones move pretty well. It's 150. Um, oh, OK, well, that's perfect. That That's the height yeah. you want. Yeah. And that that would fit within their kind of like. um with their rules and 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 what they yeah. have in, uh, done in the past, yeah, and, and they can make a little trench and make it a little deeper, I suppose, if they wanted to as well. Yeah, you can make a trench, make it a little deeper, and if you want to steal an inversion record and you put a corkscrew on it and you put a dive loop on it, now you're already at what three right off the bat with a corkscrew and a dive loop, and 
can you add two more loops? It's 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 it five is a lot of inversions. It just is. Like, especially for something like a dive first, coaster that has the wide trains, it's not easy to okay. do. First cobra roll. <laughs> yeah, some some sort of some sort of oh <laughs> now you're talking. So I think we have I think we have the theme down. Um, I think we have the location down, and now we're just talking about what type of coaster this is gonna be, how big it's gonna be. Um, and if demon survives, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the biggest question. Does demon make it out of 2024 um, after uh, almost, wow, it's almost, it's almost 50 years old, right? Yeah. Well, if they, uh, if they stick with their old formula at the end of the summer, uh, right before Labor Day, we'll find out. And uh, I'd imagine if, if demon is gone or the go-karts are gone, They'll yeah. be advertising last laps. <laughs> well, go karts! I I will not shed a tear over that one. Demon might, they, and they've never done a good demon T-shirt either. I need a good demon. If it's going out, I need a good demon T-shirt. Like, come on, come on, give me a good T-shirt. So, um, we'll keep you updated. I'm sure we'll get some more um teasers here, maybe some more ideas of what's going to happen, um, with this ride. But it's exciting to see. I, I I would be actually I'd be excited about an access coaster. I'd be excited about a custom single rail. Even a clone single rail might be okay for that park. Um, dive coaster is my least favorite of them, but it would still be a big addition to the park, which I think they and and would be a midway pleaser. You know how they love midway pleasers. Um, yeah, and it would also be the only one with any kind of serious capacity. And it is a big park. And I would say, I, I'll say the last thing. I'll say I think it's very astute of the park to try to go to Raksasha, uh, being this very Indian type, uh, Hindu oh, type. Yeah. Well, in, in, as I just learned, Chicago has the second largest population of, of Indian uh, American Indians, any, or not American, but uh, Indian Americans anywhere uh, outside of New York City. So um, I think it's a very astute move to bring in some outside diversity cultures and give them some uh, rides as well to, uh, you know, hang their hat on. So I think that's kind of cool. So we haven't seen that be done either a lot across the board, except for Banshee, right? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, Raging Cajun doesn't make sense for Chicago, right? <laughs> <laughs> it never did. It never did. So, as always, I'm Andrew Barczyk from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Jeff Goodman from Long Island, New York. Right on, right, Warriors.